Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I want to try to answer the question how do you actually beat a grandmaster in a game of classical chess? So, itong game na ito, uh, na share ko ngayon, was played in the 43rd World Chess Olympiad sa Batumi, Georgia. It's the last round, at ang kalaba namin is Team Vietnam. So, unfortunately, natalo kami. And, uh, very very sad kasi kung naipanalo namin yung match mag-champion kami sa group B and uh, meron kami trophies and medals so unfortunately natalo pero at least naipanalo ko naman yung game ko so yun ang i-analyze natin today at ang kalaban ko dito ay si Grandmaster Tran Tuan Min ng Vietnam so hopefully may matutunan kayo and uh, okay let's let's go to the game so the game starts c4 and then e5, g3, c6, and then knight f3. Okay. So atras tayo sa. So yung past game namin, I played d4. And then nag bishop b4 siya, check. Bishop d2, bishop takes d2, queen takes d2, d6, knight c3, knight f6, bishop g2, and then castling. So, nung game na to, although draw siya, uh, hindi ko feel na parang hindi ako lumamang eh. And, gusto ko talaga may panalo yung match, yung, yung game ko, para makatulong sa team, di ba? So, ngayon, I played knight f3. So, nag e4 siya, knight d4, and then, knight f6, bishop g2, so ito mainline pa rin d5, c takes d5, queen takes d5. Pero dito, I played sideline, which is e3. Okay, atas tayo. Ang main line kasi dito is to play knight c2, then queen h5 siya, threatening bishop h3, and then h3, bishop c5, tapos b4, bishop b6, bishop b2, knight bd7, and then knight c3 so although may attack kayo ako dito sa pawn niya sa e4 uh, medyo nakakatakot kasi yung prospects niya yung prospects niya for attack diba? yung queen niya nasa h5 na tapos yung, yung bishop niya sa b6 nakaturo sa, sa g1 tapos yung bishop sa c8 attack pa sa h3 so ito yung inayawan ko dito sa line na to kaya I played for a safer line which was to play e3 and then, tinira niya is bishop g4. Okay, main line pa rin. So, queen c2. Threatening knight c3. Forking the e4 pawn. Tsaka yung queen niya sa d5. Pero still, main line pa rin yan. And alam niya, knight a6. So, pagka knight c3 ko, tumira siya ng in-between move. Knight b4. Threat niya rin yung queen ko. So, I played queen b1. Still, threatening this, this two. Uh, dito nag sip siya ng mga 15, 15 minutes so baka yung iniisip niya is queen c4 which was still my preparation the prepare ko dito is to take bishop takes e4 then c5 b3, queen a6 then a3 so uh, makikita niya naman sa pasyon ang sabog sabog na yung pyesa talaga diba itong uh, yung knight ko sa d4, b10 knight ko sa b4, b10 so pag kumain siya, then kain queen b6, ito although slight advantage ang white, ay ayaw ko talaga laruin to nung, nung time na yan, kasi very critical game so pag ayaw ko naman na ako yung unang matatalo or ba so gusto ko safe ang position ko uh, gusto ko is I was playing for two results lang either win ako or draw, so Worst draw, Grandmaster naman yung kalaban ko, ba? So, atras natin. Pero he played the main line, knight d3. So, memorize niya rin. So, queen takes d3, e takes d3, knight takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes d5, c, c d5, f3, bishop d7, b3, rook c8, tas bishop b2. So, naalala ko dito na nagtapos yung opening preparation ko against this Grandmaster. So, it's very important 
Number one tip. Very important na yung opening preparation mo against sa Grandmaster is, is very long and uh, and good. Kasi usually pag di ba out out of the opening pag hindi mo alam yung ginagawa mo makakuha sila ng slight advantage then slowly but surely i-grind na nila yon and then talo ka na Par- na parang hindi ka lumaban at all so yun ang number one na iiwasan opening preparation very important so dito nag H5 siya after a long think nag H5 siya so probably ewan ko kung H4 ang idea niya or rook h6 tapos rook lift diba kung saan man niya gusto pupuntahin dyan pero okay ang idea ko pa rin is just to play solid pag tabla okay lang pag may chances go for it diba so bishop b4 rook h1 king e7 okay take note bawal niya kainin tong d2 kasi meron ako rook take c8 bishop c8 and then rook d1 So, pagka-trust ng bishop, kain dito. And now, I have a very strong knight sa d4. Tapos, meron siyang weak pawn sa d5 na pwede kong i-target. Siguro, knight e2 and then knight f4. Threatening the d5 pawn. So, of course naman, nakita niya yan. So, in, of course, hindi niya kinain. In, nag king e7 lang siya. Rook take c8. Rook take c8. And then, a3. Once again, provoking pero hindi niya naman kakainin yan so bishop c5 a4 pagka tumira siya ulit ng bishop b4 ang idea ko is to play bishop c3 king takes I mean bishop takes okay rook takes and then king e1 so ang idea ko is to play kunyara nag a6 lang siya is to play king d2 and then king d3 Once again, safe play. Diba? Meron siyang isolated pawn, although medyo mahirap manalo. Siguro naman, on, ako lang ang pwedeng manalo dito sa sa position na to. Kasi mer- siya lang ang may weakness. Ako, everything is solid. Diba? Wala, wala siyang matatarget. So, pag walang weakness, wala siyang matarget, mahirapan siya manalo. Okay? So, balik tayo. So, dito he played g5. Gawa siya. Oops. g5. So, gusto niyang gumawa ng targets dito sa king side pawns. Pero, grabe, solid kasi. Wala, wala talaga siyang matatarget dyan. Bishop c3 lang. Waiting lang. f6, rook c1. Bishop a3, rook a1. Bishop d6. So, dito... Medyo ang tira ko is paulit-ulit lang. Knight b5, bishop e5, then knight d4, di ba? Though paulit-ulit lang yung tira ko, uh, it's not like I'm playing for a draw. Kasi we all know naman, pag yung grandmaster or a master, wouldn't, ayaw nila ng draw sa lower rated player. So, I was expecting, expecting him to play on. And then, pag na-overextend yung mga pyesa niya, doon ako gagawa ng uh, action. Okay? So, na king f7 lang siya. Rook c1, and then h4. Okay? So, rook g1 lang. Hold, hold lang. Then, na b6 siya. G takes h4. G takes h4. f4. Bishop takes d4. Bishop takes d4, then rook c2. So, ito na. Medyo nagkakamali na siya kasi after bishop c3, di ba, na-lockdown ko na yung rook niya dito. Hindi ko alam kung hindi niya nakita yun. Pero kasi siya yung nagpipilit. So, gumagawa siya ng play. Hoping na magkamali ako pero hindi ako nagkamali. So, sorry. So, a5, king f3, bishop f5, and then rook b1. So, my idea ko is to play b4, and uh, papasok na yung rook ko diba? pag pumasok yung rook ko, matretret yung f6 magkakaroon na ako ng play so, unti-unti natin dito, nakikita natin medyo nag-overextend na siya pero still equal pa rin kasi opposite colored bishops okay, so nag king g6 siya, rook g1 dito siya nagkamali king h7 so now pwede niyang i-pause yung video 
try nyo hanapin yung correct move ng white. Paano may papanalo tong position na to. Okay. So, I'll give you 5 seconds. So, the move is E4. Okay. Kasi bawal natin kainin yung F6. Kasi meron siya rook D2. Di ba? Bitin yung D2 pawn. So, bakit ako nag E4? Tapos natin. E4, pagkakain niya ng E4, King E3. Ngayon, yung pawn niya sa F6, hindi na madepensa ng King. Kasi na, uh, na boundary. So, tira niya is H3. Kain. Rook C6. And then, Bishop D4. So, ngayon dito, ako na, ako na yung may advantage. Kasi, yung bishop ko is threatening to take b6. At pag nakaya yung b6, babaksak na pati yung a5. Not to mention na tied down king king niya sa h7. At ako na lang may play. Ako yung may pass pawn sa f4. Diba? Itong pass pawns niya, hindi makapush na, na lockdown ng king sa e4, e3. So, pag nakuha mo na yung advantage, ang kailangan mo na is to uh, is to use proper technique. Hanap ka ng plano, and then, you execute it. Pag na-execute mo yung plano mo, also, try to stop yung plano ng kalaban. So, bishop d4, nag king h6 siya, so ang plano ko is to play rook g5, bishop g6, and then, rook b5, di ba? Pagkakain ko dito, kain din yung a5, so, magkakaroon ako ng past pawn sa a and b. Okay. Pero nag rook c1 siya. So once again, you can pause the video. So how do you uh, try to convert this advantage into a win? Okay, so I'll give you 5 seconds to let. Okay. So ang idea niya is to play rook h1 and then take the h2 pawn. Diba? Gagawa siya ng counterplay. Ayaw niya mag-antay lang. So the move is to play king f2. Okay. So rook h1 and then king g3. Rook f1, bishop f2. So as you can see, ini-stop ko lang muna yung counterplay niya. And then pag wala na siyang counterplay, kasi he was planning rook f3, di ba? Check. Stop ko lang with bishop f2. Ang wala na siyang counterplay, ng king g7 siya. Tuloy ang play ko. Kaya din sa pawn. So, pag nakain yung isang pawn, next in line, yung a5 pawn. So, no, bishop a5, bishop f5, rook b5, king g6, rook takes a5, rook d1, check muna, king f7, bishop e3. Once again, stop ulit yung counterplay niya. Pag nawala na yung counterplay niya, continue tayo sa play natin, which is to push these pawns. So, nag rook e1 siya. Okay. Bishop d4, king e7, rook a5, bishop e6, rook e5. Okay? So, kasi dito, ang thread niya is to play e3. e3. Okay? So, for example, na b4 lang ako, continue ko yung plan ko to push my own pawns. Pagka e3, bishop takes e3, kain, kain, d2, unstoppable. Siya pa yung mananalo. Di ba? So, continue lang tayo sa game plan. Stop yung plano kalaban and then pag may stop na, tuloy yung plano ko. So, rook e5. King f7, continue with our plan. f5, kain, e5. Push lang itong dalawang pawn and itong dalawang pawn na yan is almost unstoppable kasi yung bishop ko uh, is eyeing the a1 square, di ba? So, pagka rook d1, Bishop c3, rook c1, dito, brute force calculation na lang ang kailangan. Pagka rook take c4, uh, rook c3, kain, d2, kain, kain, then a6, di ba? Unstoppable na tong 4 uh, points ko. Bishop c2, so tumira ko siya ng konti. a7, kain, 
Bishop f5, king g3, bishop e4, bishop e, king e5, king e7, and then h4. Itong kabilaang pawn, hindi, hindi, hindi niya na may stop yan. So, pag in-stop niya itong isang pawn dito sa h4, for example, may matitira akong isang pawn sa c3 na hindi niya na may stop. Kaya nag-resign na siya. So, yun. Yun ang game. And, uh, that I was able to beat the Grandmaster. So, opening preparation, syempre. And then, once you get uh, advantage, kailangan uh, proper technique na. Stop mo na lahat ng counterplay niya. And then, saka mo lang itutuloy yung plano mo. But, unfortunately, as I said, Diba? Talo yung team namin. So, malungkot din talaga tong game na to. Habang nilalaro ko to, malungkot na ako kasi talo na kami. Uh, parang no bearing game na. Nung natapos yung game, napaupo na lang kami as a team dun sa hagdan. Kasi sobrang lapit na namin. Kung napanalo namin, champion. Although lumaban naman kami lahat, yun nga lang, mas malakas din talaga yung Vietnam. With a super grandmaster yung board 1 nila. So, yun. So, hopefully may natutunan kayo sa game ko ngayon and uh, yun lang, bye bye